Ladies and gentlemen, I need everybody to do one thing. Take, take your Resident Evil 8 village knowledge out of your brain. Just hold it in your hand, right? And I need you to take that and just absolutely just annihilate the absolute bejesus out of that because everything that we know is wrong, okay? Resident Evil 8 is a baby video game. It is the easiest video game I have ever seen in my entire life. And I'm about to prove it to you all to here today because the new world record speed run is unbelievable it, it utilizes new game plus okay which already already if you don't know anything about new game plus we're just already starting off with like the best stuff ever and not only just the best stuff ever but the best mods the best everything and not only is it a new game plus any percent but it was just completed literally yesterday by Smokey Runs. Uh, I will have his channel down below in the description. Make sure y'all go down and subscribe. He is a Resident Evil speedrunner. He's an absolute beast. Uh, I'll have both his uh, YouTube channel and his Twitch channel down below. He's nice enough to let me react to this. Um, and we're gonna be we're gonna be taking a look. We're gonna be taking a look at what we've already reacted to the normal version of the game, like the new game, you know, typical, just play through it, beat it type thing. Creeping me out, Mother Miranda. Creeping me out, Mother Miranda actually creepy whoa that that something? flick was insane nothing i'll put her down <laughs> that flick was actually insane so as you guys know the very beginning of this game is literally fatherhood simulator um for the first like, like i think so three more. minutes of the game it's literally just fatherhood fun. simulator uh it's absolutely great it, we skip all the cutscenes and it's all funny games but there, right? um again if you don't know basically how resident evil works you in this game, after you beat the main thing, you start accumulating points and you you earn a lot of this currency. And once you fully upgrade these guns, you can unlock different mods for the guns, which are like infinite ammo, spawn with, you know, the AR that you get when you're playing as Chris Redfield. You know what I mean? Insane, insane, absolutely nuts, uh, like additions to the game that allow you to beat the entire video game in one hour and 23 minutes and one second dude and as for the current strats this is the pretty much the fastest time any i mean obviously it's world record it's the fastest time anyone's has gotten and it utilizes all the glitches the sum of all the knowledge of the speedrunners is all together in this and it's absolutely insane so the cutscene that was just skipped obviously is mother miranda uh just uh getting absolutely annihilated uh and uh yeah, Ethan, Ethan decides to uh, start on trucking. Also, have y'all seen those things about Ethan? Uh, like, e Ethan's face is, like, in the files and stuff like that. It's kind of wild. Because <laughs> they, they, like, really do a big thing about, like, not showing Ethan's face at all. Only ever showing, like, the back of his head or the side of his head. Never his face. But apparently, they literally had files for Ethan's face in the game. Which is just... <laughs> which is just wild. <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought that was a that was a little fun fact. So um, obviously the very beginning of this game, as we've kind of learned. Oh, here we go. First cut of the game. There it is. Uh, so this is now my. I think this is my third time, third time watching through the entire playthrough. Because obviously the first time I beat it, it took me like twelve hours. This guy is beating it in literally a twelfth of the time. <laughs> uh, it took me to beat the entire game. Um, so th there should be a lot of a. Uh, a lot of fun tricks here because it, it's straight up like 15 minutes faster than the last one I reacted to. So <laughs> Are those birds so loud? <laughs> like so unbelievably loud. We're going to quickly tail this lichen. And go on and dude, they confirmed also at E3. And more news for this game. They confirmed that they are making DLC. I mean, obviously, I mean, I would ho freaking hope that they would be making DLC for this game because it's so incredibly good. But they confirmed 100% the DLC is in uh, in production, which is a huge, huge dub. I can't wait for it to come out. All I want to do is just play this game more and just have more missions and have it be longer. Like, if they just used the exact same engine and just made a part two to this game, I'd be totally fine with that. I mean, I understand they're all, like, more or less the same engine and stuff like that, but... Also, it's it's way less it's way less silly whenever the, uh... So, some pause buffering here. I, I, 
I still haven't learned why they do that. I think it's just pause buffering to make sure everything loads in so nothing is lagging. Because the, the pause menus don't count for, um, for what's it called? Wow, he like got there before it even closed. Imagine you could literally beat it there. Um, oh yeah, he's, he's like, oh, there's blood on my hands. Huh, weird. Dude, he, he, had, he had an open cut too and he's putting other people's bloods in his bloodstream. Ew. I mean, I guess he is spoiler alert, but if you're watching a, if you're watching a literal world record speed run, I don't know why you, <laughs> why you don't know what's happening in the game. <laughs> go play the game for yourself or go watch a, go watch a playthrough. It doesn't even have to be mine. Just go watch a playthrough before you're here. I'm talking to you. I know there's at least one of you guys out there. I'm talking to F I'm talking to you. You know, you know that you haven't, you haven't played through this game or seen it. All right, so he's gonna do a go ahead and do a restart. This is a new strategy, I believe. That's a new strategy that was not figured out before. So now you can skip that entire section right there by doing a save quit or a restart rather. Cause you get a checkpoint. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. And here comes. I, I still see you there. I still see you there waiting. Still watching. I'm freaking calling you out. Go watch a normal playthrough of this what game happened? before you watch the speed run. Jeez, man. I'm really grinding my gears. <laughs> was that music always there? What was that music? I wish there were funny mods. Like, I, I wish in addition to the... Uh... Oh, yeah, he's got to talk to the dude with the shotgun. I wish in addition... Oh, okay, he's dead. <laughs> Uh, I, I wish that in addition to the one with the shot. Oh, that sidestep was clean. Bolt cutters. I wish in addition to that, they had some, uh, some like funny mods that would like turn the lichens into like, I, oh, here it is. So here's the gun. This is the big one right here. Also that body literally disappeared. Um, so like attack the window. Yep. <laughs> See when you know when you know the jump scares are coming. Oh my god, look at his inventory already, bro. Look at his effing inventory already. Over. So I guess you just have to kill those two lichens in order to uh Bro. <laughs> Absolutely smoked, dude. Survive the attack. Oh, so what does this do? So this is uh, this is some interesting spawn manipulation right here. So, so he's he's manipulating everything to spawn next to him faster. Oh my god, that reload is so fast. For a 20, 28 bullet, ult, bullet ultimate swagnum that just one shots everything. There's some, there's some fun weapons too though. They have like a rocket pistol, but obviously this is the, this is the big boy. This is the most damaging weapon in the game. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. I'm really excited to see the boss fights with this thing, this thing on. There's no end to them. <laughs> This is supposed to be like a scary moment where you're you're just like you're screwed and everything. I love how it's supposed to just be the scariest thing ever, but he's just standing in a corner wiggling around and then shooting people when he needs to. I wonder what like what does this actually make it any faster or is he just doing it for fun? I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong. Where's the big boy? I love how his split is called arrow to the knee as well. Also, I wonder if he kills the, uh, the, the big lichen. I wonder if he kills it. Cause I actually don't know what happens if you kill the, uh, the big lichen. Oh yeah, this one. Wait, so does he actually kill it before it? Yeah. 
He killed it! I'm pretty sure that's an achievement. I'm pretty sure that's an achievement to kill that guy on the first encounter with him. So does that mean he doesn't show up later in the game? Bruh. Wait, this speedrun is actually fire so far. Um, game settings. Frame rate. Okay, so I guess I think he was just making sure his frame rate was on to 120 because I believe you actually need uh, that. There's different there's different glitches and stuff that you can do with frame rate to glitch yourself through enemies and through walls and stuff like that. Which is really interesting, and I'm sure I'm sure we're gonna see some new ones. It's been I literally reacted to this in the first like week that it came out. So I have a I have a big big feeling that we're gonna see some huge changes to the speedrunner route. Not only that, but there's also uh, what's it called? This guy cannot hit, hit him with the arrow. <laughs> it's literally just laughably easy. Is he die? Is that why he was like in the corner the entire time? Was he just dodging arrows? Okay, so that's a hundred percent a time thing because in nine seconds he's gonna get hit with an arrow to the knee and there was like nothing he could do to speed it up or anything like that also i wonder what the cutscene looks like if you yep there it is also i wonder what the cutscene looks like when the big guy is dead does he still does he still show up for the cutscene in life and in death what a weird she's giving glory to herself Rose is here? What a weirdo. Wait, so what is this pistol? This is the other... So he has the pipe bombs. He has whatever this pistol is. He has the big... The big explodey boy. Or uh, the the, uh, the big swagnum. The AR. What is that? Wait, what, what pistol is this? Why does it sound so weird? Why, why does it sound so strange? I'm gonna just yeet over this wall. Oh, also the infinite ammo really helps as well. Okay, that's a skip. You always have to wait, the, let, let the cutscene play for like a second or so. He's gonna skip that. Now he just has to wait. What pistol is... Uh, hold on, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Resident Evil 8 weapons. Let's see. Every gun and weapon. Uh, is it the... It's not the Lemmy, is it? Completion weapons. Cram, that You can get the Krambit knife. Handgun, sniper ammo, revolver. Hand, is, this, is this the one, the hand cannon PZ? Oh, God, that scared me. That epic scared me. Yeah, there's the rocket pistol. I don't know what pistol that is. And screwdriver. Damn, the fire's moving fast. Draw key. Skip the skip the running through the wall cuts. Oh, never mind. I thought it would skip that cutscene. Okay, worry. there it goes. And try not to breathe in the smoke. Go, Lucina or Linda. Thank you, Ethan. Skip that cutscene. Oh, is she already dead? Okay. Oh, she did. <laughs> Speed run to her death. Any percent right there. Dang it! It's gonna it's gonna make me mad. This this this, this isn't a good list because it doesn't show me the uh, the pictures. List of weapons. Mother Miranda, what are you doing? Uh, is it the U USM AI? I I think it's that one. Maybe. Dead. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So, so, so one of them is the stake. I know that for sure. Power two thousand. The stake has two thousand power. I guess this leads to. That's the, the swagnum. Uh, ammo capacity ten. Duke's Emporium purchasable in the new game plus. I think that's it. I don't know, man. I don't know. 
I'm at a loss. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Steak. Yeah, the steak is the other one. And then there's the rocket pistol. Is it the rocket pistol? <laughs> it's making me mad, man. Well, well. Well, well. It shoots out small rockets that deal damage, and a small radius ton impact doesn't do that much damage, but a strong knockback and staggering power that even affects larger enemies. You can get the rocket pistol after cleaning the highest difficulty of the game to build your status. Okay, so I guess that's it. My daughters and I shall deliver to you. Okay, little uh, doll sighting. Doll sighting right there. Run for your life. Okay. Jump down. Yes, sir. Very nice. <laughs> Wait, he's back? How is he back? Are there just more of them? <laughs> My word. You truly are as strong as they say. Oh, you didn't think I'd let you get away, did you? Gotta keep Donna and Moreau entertained. Wait, so do you not even and have to look at it? Time for the beautiful, blood soaked grand finale. <laughs> oh, he, he just turned it around at the last second. American American ground beef! <laughs> Absolute pain. I definitely, that was my first death of the game. Right there, in that little section. Wait, do those freaks have rows? Oh, but they do, my friend. Split up into little tiny baby pieces. <clears throat> All right, let's see what he can do. Hand so oh, dude, the, the, an the animation always just makes me think of the part where Lady D slices your hand off. Always makes me think of it. If she ain't slicing your hand off, she don't care right there. All right. Back out to the village. And up to the castle. There he is. I've been... The lad himself. The big lad himself. All right, castle time, baby. Let's go, best part of the game right here. I honestly think they should have done the castle as the last like dungeon. Could Rose be here? I think that I think the castle as the last part should, would have been the best. I, I really think so. It was just <laughs> such a good, such a good section of the game. So you just need to look at this for a few seconds and then, uh oh. Looking for Rose? <laughs> nope. Oh, this part, dude. Oh, this part. Oh, God. Bunch of crazy witches. Oh, always gets me, man. Always gets me. I mean, it, it's pretty gross. It's pretty disgusting. But uh, there, there was a bunch of people who were saying there was one part in the game where they had to, like, pause the game and get up and take it. Like, there were some reviewers who were saying, like, it was so grotesque. Like, I don't know. I, I just had to pause the game and get up and take a break afterward. It was just too much. It was over the top. And I, I, I seriously don't know which part of the game they're talking about. Because the only one I can think of is that. But I like that's not bad enough that you actually like stop playing. Immediately grab the eye out. Love that. He says, I'm not gonna wait, baby. I'm going in. Alright, straight upstairs to the eye room. All the way up. Where is Lady D? Give me Lady D. You, you like really get to see. The, honestly, the only time you get to see a lot of her is uh, is when uh, what's it called? Oh. I haven't cut open a man in a while. 
Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. Are you alive, dead, which would you prefer? And a little pause buffer restart right there. Oh, does that skip the animation of you, like, hitting the ground and stuff? That looked way fast. There she is! Woo! Dude, I wish speedrunners were allowed to play with, like, ungame altering mods. That'd be so good to, like... Because there's so many different mods for her that turns her into, like, Barney. There's a little bit crazier ones, that's for sure. Pause buffering. As soon as... Oh, okay, so since the pauses don't count toward the time, he was waiting for it to actually, like, hit the exact moment that it made contact with that and then restarting the checkpoint, which opens the door faster. Dude, there's so many little, little... Okay, this is the rocket pistol. It's hard to tell. I thought the rocket pistol had, like, way bigger explosions. But, yeah, okay, so confirm this is the rocket pistol. Um, but, yeah, the, uh... Cassandra caused all this mess. Dang it, Cassandra. But that, dude, that, there's some, there's some serious, like, Where optimization in this game. <laughs> Bullets cannot harm. <laughs> you stupid man thing! <laughs> Absolutely clapped. Wow. That was impressive. The one shot arena right there. Hey, big boy pistol. I forget what the next part of this. Oh yeah, you go into the wine room and you place the thing down and it opens the secret passageway. You need to go get all the, all the heads. Or the uh, mass, rather. Dude, this, this I I just wish this was the was the end of the game, man. Wait, did that just that just skip the animation of opening up that box and he just grabbed the courtyard key? Dude, Ed, so the pausing is all meant Shall for animation time? like skipping. <sighs> Wait. <laughs> I'll give you the tour. I love how abrupt that reload is too. It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> it's very, di it's a very different speed run from uh, the new game. Oh, there, there she is, Lady D, strolling up the stairs. It really is like a, a vastly different speed run. I feel like it's a lot easier to speed run. Oh, I what have you done to my daughter? Oh, she did. Dude, this was the hardest puzzle in the entire game for me, man. I swear. I swear. I had it all wrong. I had it all wrong. Ooh, little... Little bounce-up jump hop. What the hell? Oh my god, the movement is clean. Oh, I thought it was going to shoot a good... Okay, yeah, so he's staggering the ones in the water. That's the reason you're using the rocket pistol. He's staggering all the dudes in the water so they don't jump up and uh, impede his route. Clean. Clean. Very clean. Is he already up on the... Oh, he's at this part where you, where you watch Lady D on the phone. And skip that. You go in, you grab the key, and then she comes strolling on in through the door. Hello. Oh shit. There you are. <laughs> go ahead. So, Do your worst. so terrifying, dude. So terrifying, dude. And Ethan. Oh crap. Oh yeah, is this when it happens? 
Oh, dude, every time. I, I, I always forget when it, when it happens, when his hand just gets immediately deceased. Okay, so he's pause buffering, waiting for that little loading circle to pop up. And as soon as that beep happened, he, he hit the reload and that moves him forward. This is where it happens. Oh, we don't get to see it. You will learn what it means to insult a stomach crash. Okay, that was very fast. So tall, dude. So tall. Oh. Oh my. Okay. Unlocked it. Mask of sorrow. Goes up. <laughs> Running will get you nowhere. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Totally normal. Totally normal maneuver here. Totally normal maneuver. Best part is, is it repairs the jacket too. I wonder if the jacket is also made out of mold. That'd be very interesting. <laughs> I just realized, look over at his splits. Next up is Iron Key, then Lady D, then Lady Dead. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Man, screw this castle. I love that. Lady D, Lady Dead. Ooh. Yo, this guy's cracked, dude. Yeah, this is the first gameplay I'm seeing of the rocket pistol. I knew it existed because I saw it in the list. It really is just a stagger machine, though. Wow, he actually learned the song. He actually learned it. That's impressive. Iron insignia key, good stuff. Wait, what was on that light? Oh, pipe bomb. Is this it? Is this the first time he uses the pipe bomb? Here we go. <gasps> Our first new glitch! Yo! I knew it was gonna happen! I knew it! I knew eventually it would happen. Wow! The out of bounds resident e Dude, yes. Wait, what? Oh, that's to get him back in bounds. Wait, what? You skipped so much! You skip like... M Dude, if there's a new trick to, to figure out how, to, how you get there faster, that, that would allow you to skip so much. Hello? Oh, the game was like... It's like Looks bugged. Looks like your outside to... matches your inside now. So you much. I don't feel very lucky. She like right behind him right now, freaking out. He does not care at all, dude. Down to a science. Down to a science. 
knows exactly how many bullets to shoot. Don't be shy. Show me your terror. He's like, anyway, can you stop talking so you can land so I can immediately kill you? Time to die. I'll eat you up every last morsel. And there it is. <laughs> You're the one who's cursed. <laughs> that is definitely a lady dead right there. That is definitely a lady dead. Uh, looks like I'm getting out of this place. Okay. Rose. Look for Rose. D Doug, you got you got her. Oh yeah, he hasn't figured that out yet. He needs to go talk to the Duke. The Hadouken. Hadouken. Shoot the fish. Do it. You won't. You got unlimited ammo. Hear our voice together as one in reverence. Give we praise to me, Mother Miranda. India. As the midnight moon rises up. Give praise. Oh, so he's doing another trick to skip the box animation? Dude, that that is a that is the weirdest glitch that allows doing that pause buffer thing allows you to skip the uh, animation of opening up a box it's crazy <laughs> actually crazy run 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 come on ethan be skinnier Oh, so you don't even have to go look at the giant's chalice thing. You can just go to the next area. I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Very interesting. I'm so excited to see Heisenberg's area with, uh, with all of the new weapons and everything like that. Man, he's like over a third of the way through the game. That is wild. That is actually wild. Or wait, no, almost a third. There you are. I had a feeling you would pop up here. Okay. That's where he learns. Wing of key. While this while that wing of key is happening, he goes ahead and puts in the uh, first part of the chalice. Gets the flashback. What the hell? And that opens the door. Nice. Uses uses the explosive bullets. Oh, he, he's like pre-shooting things in the next area that he needs to go to. That is wild, bro. That is actually wild. I love it so much. Oh, is this the wait? Oh, no, this is the part where you have to like look through the window. Um, and you see the uh, you see the code or whatever. But does he even get scared if he just puts in the code right away? Because you don't even have to look. Wait, yeah. I don't remember what happens. So he skipped the animation again. And if you don't look out the window to find the code, that lichen doesn't pop up and jump scare you. Jumps on the roof. Keep it moving. Ethan, come on. This is a speed run. Chop, chop. Chop, chop, Ethan. Oh, that one shot that guy? <laughs> Rocket pistol kind of OP too, though. I love how he doesn't even look where he's going. He just knows the movement. He's done this so many times. He knows the... This is the run, though. This is the one that he got the world record on. <sighs> I'm surprised he didn't do the little pause buffering trick with that. Better see the Duke again. Okay, back up to the. That part took me like an hour. Not an hour. Probably took me like 15 minutes to do. He just did it in like 
two minutes, if that. How was it? Did you learn anything? Yep. And you true Yep again. Collect Rose. The greatest objective known to mankind. <laughs> Collect Rose. Alright, here we go. Oh, the worst place, man. I'm hoping on my third time through. My second time I was still scared, but I'm hoping on my third time through that I'll be okay, you know? Right, guys? <laughs> right? Third time through, surely I don't get scared at the dollhouse again. Oh, dude, Ethan. just... Oh, gosh, I forgot about what? effing Mia, too. Ethan, come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Mia? We'll pause buffering. What's going on? Oh, dude. Ugh, chills. I have chills right now. Does anyone else have goosebumps? I've got goosebumps. Rose feels different. Ethan, you have to fix her. Come on, Ethan. This? Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to be alone. This can't be real. Does Ethan ever find out that uh, Mia's alive? Am I losing it? I think he does, right? I think he... Does, does he find out that Mia's alive? What's going on? I really can't figure it out. I, I can't remember. Also, Ethan is just like the most innocent guy ever. It'll be like the most grotesque thing. He'd be like, what's that? <laughs> the most f up stuff you could think of. He's like... What in the world? Oh, I think he's looking for... Okay, so he hits a restart. Oh no, he was just pause buffering that. Uh, I thought he hit the restart, but then I realized that's when the lights go out. <laughs> Ethan, there's, there's something written on the wall. Ethan. Ethan, behind you. Okay, there we go. Now he hits the restart. Just making sure all those things uh, sign in together. Okay. Here we go. He's plus 16 right now on his... I, I'm, I'm excited to see where he saves a bunch of time. Because right now he's like literally plus 17 seconds on his PB. Oh, oh no, he's actually he's actually running against uh literally the best possible time he could get, like the sum of all of his best segments of each individual run. He's running against that. So he's 16 he's 17 seconds off of literally a frame perfect run. Like tech so technically it could be 16.9 seconds. Nice. Faster, but that is the absolute the absolute fastest that it could be. 16.9 seconds faster until a new strat is discovered. So this is, I mean, this this record just beat the previous one. So. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Oh, God. Here we go. I've been waiting for so long. I need a much better daughter than Rose. Please, won't you stay with me forever? What? Yeah, exactly. Ethan. Wait, where's my gun? Cre creepiest thing. What? <laughs> oh, Ethan. You silly, silly. You silly, silly goose. Okay, there's the turning key. He never, he never has to do the other part because you already know what the uh, dials are oriented to. All right, here we go. Time for the baby. The baby. Just not, not any hesitation at all. Just go. Love it. Love it. Why is this here? Oh, 
my god. <laughs> that puzzle took me a while just because there were like several things that it could have looked like. What a beautiful, what a beautiful song. Tweezers. Oh, he saved a little bit of time on that. He saved a little bit of time. So now he's only plus 18. Oh wait, no. That wait, never mind. Dumb. Also, why do you need the teasers, uh, the tweezers to do that? It's like literally right there. He uh, comes on over the intercom. Is like, sup? Oh god, that one always gets me. It got me last time too. Oh god. <laughs> It got me last time, too. I effing hate that so much. Ugh. I hate it so much. Oh, my goodness. All right. Go get the skizzers out of the creepy doll room. I'm glad I'm glad the creepy doll room does, never comes to life. It's all just right at the very end, you know? I'm glad it's just all at the very end. Yes, yes, yes. We know what to do. We've been here before. Yes, yes, yes. Cool film reel. All right. Dude, it's just, it's so funny. Like, developers can spend years. Years. This is the cool, an I like this animation. It's a cool little, cool little thing. Um, but developers can spend years on a game just to have the game beaten in like an hour and 23 minutes. And most of that is like nothing to do with skill. It's all to do with, oh, thank goodness you didn't look at the Mia walking in there. Skizzers. Needs to get the dial out of here. There we go. Mia comes on the intercom. She's like... <laughs> Already knows how to do this one. One to the right, two to the left. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Go down the hallway. I seriously thought that Mia was it was gonna be a flashback of that Mia attack and Resident Evil and the last Resident Evil. That was one of the scariest parts of the game, man. Right at the beginning. <sighs> oh, there's a mistake. Runs over. Runs over. Give it up, boys. Give it up, boys. Runs gone. Here we go. Time for the baby. <sighs> I think the, I think the audio clip was supposed to end by the time you got up to the top of the stairs. Oh, it automatically ended. There we go. Okay, so here's the really cool trick here. Here's the really cool trick to uh to get past the baby, you activate the baby. Wait, did they change the route? Wait, I didn't know they changed the route. There used to be a trick where you just like, you stand in a really specific spot and the the, ba the baby passes you. Is that is that something that, that happens later? I can't. Maybe, maybe maybe it's right here. Or did they change the route? Did they figure out it's just actually faster just to go the normal way? Oh gosh, Monkus. Who, who do you? Who, what baby do you think they got the voice actor for to do that, to do those noises? Okay, is it, oh, is it right here that they do the, the baby trick? I think it's right here. Oh yeah, it's right here. <laughs> Ethan. Oh, here we go. Was 30 FPS. 
yes, and you can get past it without it killing you. Okay, so that that's a, that's a much faster route. That is a much, much faster route than the last one I saw. Because the last one I saw, he had to, like, stand there and wait for it to, like, lunge past him. But that one, you literally just, like, you go. Which is much, much faster. All right, here we go. Time for the baby teleport. Oh gosh, it really is right there, though. Oh gosh, it's so loud. Oh, man. And that's not even the worst part of this area. You still have to do the doll fight. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, this part is RNG. I remember that. I remember that. This part of the, the Easter egg, or the Easter egg, the run is actually RNG. Try and find me. <laughs> where, where it spawns. I think it's RNG. He seemed like he knew it where it was going, though. Fucking monster. I, I, I like how you get the doll, too. That's the, that's the worst part, man. You literally, like, you obtain the doll. I guess it's not RNG? Or, or, or maybe you, you can just hear. It's just so disturbing, dude. It really is. And here we go. Here we go. Stupid idiot! What are you doing to my cute friends? And revelation. It was actually the weird creepy lady the whole time controlling it. Wow, that was really fast. So he like picked up that, that key ASAP right there. He's like, come on, I'm on a good run, let me out. Dude, another big time save would be right here because you have to run all the way back to the village. If you can somehow just like teleport back to the village or do some sort of weird save quit method to get back to the village faster, that would save so much time. So much time. Oh my gosh. Would have been incredible. Would have been incredible. Also, I was so nervous during this. I think it was actually a little bit of a missed opportunity a little bit to um, uh, to have her not really be dead and have like one actual final like boss fight or something like that where you, it, you just ho like hallucinated that you killed her, but then she came back or something. Like, like if you hopped off this elevator and you, you were back in the house, Oh, I think that would have just been so incredible. Like, and there was just a door right here and it, that just opened back up into the house and she was like in front of you. Oh my, I mean, I would have been terrified. So I'm actually glad they didn't do that, but you know, you know what I mean? And then all the enemies are here. Oh yeah, this is the part where uh, I think they were trying, like the speedrunners were trying to decide whether it was worth the time to go get the uh, bonus weapon. The, uh, a big pistol in, in the new game anyway because in the new game you don't have the most op weapons in the game off the start i wonder if you can also shoot those guys huh. all right next split is werewolf for the mordu split let's get it we dude already over halfway through the game Okay, so apparently using the 30 FPS is how you get past that one, because otherwise it blocks your path, I guess. 
Also, what's the difference between refresh rate and frame rate? What, what, what is the difference between that? I don't actually know. All right, here we go. Oh, big boy. Uh, this werewolf. Yep, this one. Got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this gun is just silly, dude. I wish you had to kill more things. There needs to be a speedrun category for killing every single creature that exists in the map. Wow. That also one shots that. Of course it does. Slime goopy. Because of course it does. I thought, I thought he was going to shoot the pig. I don't know why. I thought the pig was going to die. This is, this is very much a only the essentials need to die run. He does not waste a single blood. He doesn't even kill things where he doesn't have to. He just, he, the only thing he's worried about is he's worried about, um, killing the things he, he absolutely has to. And even if he just needs to get something out of the way, he'll just stagger it instead. Dude, these elevators require a lot of pause buffering. A whole lot. That's a latte. That's a latte. Thanks a latte. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, th th this one is this one is such a weird thing. You get the you get the flask like right at the very beginning, and then you have to kill him afterwards. <laughs> you're forced. You're forced to go through the entire thing after you get the flask. And cutscene skip. <laughs> That was, Damn freak. that was the greatest two seconds ever. That was the greatest two seconds of all time. <laughs> oh my god, that made me laugh way harder than it should have. <laughs> greatest moment of the run. Low key. Low key greatest moment of the run right there. Skip splatter animation as as per the usual Ethan Winters maneuvers here. Got the boat key. I remember I almost died in this area. This area was like unnecessarily difficult. There's just way too many enemies. I don't think I almost died, but I used up like all of the ammo that I had and got like nothing back. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see how big fishy fight goes down. I'm really, I'm really excited to see how big fishy fight goes down with the, uh, with the big, big old pistol. Start your engines. Yeah, this, this run straight up is like zero RNG, like zero RNG. You are playing and your skill is what determines your time. I feel like. I thought that I thought the uh, Lady Bin Nvidia Viento was RNG, was but I guess not, because he knew exactly where it was. So there's a way to manipulate it or something. I don't know. It's just straight up. How good can you? How how well can you play? How good is your movement? And uh, do you know the boss fight and everything like that? What the? That's where you see Chris, and then Big Boy. Yeah. Th this, this area is always uh, always fun to see. Oh, wait. Did he just pre-shoot something in the next area, too? Okay. Apparently, you want to... What am I supposed to do? Restart there. Uh, he said the exit's under the water. Wait, what? I'm confusion. What did he pre-shoot? What did he pre-shoot all the way over there? Oh, so you don't even have to turn that crank to see that it's a dead crank. Skip the entire ladder. Love to see it. Yeah, pick up, pick up some of that handgun ammo, dude. I'm not looking for fish food. 
Dude, Ethan is such a dweeb, dude. I'm not looking. He that little laugh at the end too. I'm not looking to be fish food, huh? Like, <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> truly, truly one of a kind. Truly, truly, the one and the only. All right, he's got to do the stinky, the stinky cheese uh, lever pull. Honestly, dude, if if that was like edible, I would eat it. I would eat it. I I, I bet like you, you know how like it's like fine cheeses. Oh, there's a restart there. Really? Where do you restart at? Oh, you restart way up there. You don't you don't have to do the jump down. You gotta you don't gotta do nothing. Bro, fi fine cheese, just a nice fine cheese would be oh it would be incredible, dude. Yeah, I, if I ever decided to speedrun this game, that's the part I would mess up on a bunch. Oh yeah, in this part you need to like actually wait a second. Wait, can you pre-do damage there? That's the part where you die if you try to run it too much. I think I died there on my run. My like, you know. Well, I say my run like I like I'm a speedrunner, but no, my my playthrough, I should say. Mama, 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 mama. Eh. Actually, actually, I lied. I lied about the cheese stuff. Too ten, too tentacly. That's not cheese, you know. Nah. I'll stick with the nice, uh, a nice blue, maybe an artisan, you know. <laughs> nice, uh, spicy, spicy pepper jack cheese, you know. Pro. Yeah, that line right there. Need to get out of here. Just makes no sense. No sense at all. Caught myself a big one. Shut up, Ethan. Literally almost dying. Get out of here with, I caught myself a big one. Catching a boat. I mean, maybe after you killed the boss, you could say that, but not the boat. Like what? Oh yeah, I remember that. You have to activate that, cl can't climb up like that before you, before you do this uh, little rotate thing. You know how Mordu is just going absolutely ham down there. This game is like the definition of uh, like really, really well done like side missions for like a linear single player game. Like you play through the story, you're like, boom, boom, boom. You do this, you do this, you do this. This game absolutely had the best. Here, here we go, big fishy. Sea world. <laughs> <laughs> um had the best like linear mission design that also had the there was like the secondary missions you could do with the um like going into different areas getting different weapons and stuff like that i i truly think this is like the gold standard in terms of that there's so much additional stuff like the meals you could cook that would make you uh your, like your okay. character more buff type stuff all that stuff all that stuff for real was just so well done in this game is he even gonna say hi? Rude, dude. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Again, reminder, that, that part took me like 10 minutes. Because <laughs> I, I have pea brain. I have big big pea brain energy. Got it. Got it. Find the way out. Oh yeah, and then here we go. Wait, can you actually beat him? He's literally walking with them. Wait, that was actually <laughs> that was actually incredible. All right, here we go. Now for the fight. Now for the fight. How many bullets? I'm guessing four bullets. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine bullets. Nine bullets to kill the third boss in the game. That's insane. And death as he was in life. Ugly. The exit's up ahead. <laughs> and death as he was in life. The exit's up ahead. Good, good quote, Ethan. Very quotable. Very quotable. You, 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 you really get, you really get the, uh, the nuance of these things. Combined with the four-winged unborn key to make the six-winged unborn key. Yes. 
Alright, here we go. Here we go. Let's get it, boys. Another, another elevator ride. Sorry, I, I just got a really, really exciting email. And I'm very, I'm very interested to see what it says. Oh, I wish I could tell you all about it. Dude, there's been so many things recently that I just, I wish I could tell you all about. Oh! Wait, can, wait, wait. Is this under NDA? Can I tell you guys this? Wait, is this actually under NDA? I don't see anything about an NDA. Dude, can I can I literally reveal this right now? <laughs> run, pigs, run! Oh yeah, this is the... Is this where the demon pig is? The one that like really scares the crap out of you? I hated that pig so much. I'm gonna run. Oh, okay. This information is highly confidential. Do not mention to anyone. Unpog. I'm gopping. I'm not pogging. I'm gopping. I can't tell y'all. Pain. Actual full-blown pain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for hyping it up. There's so many cool things I want to tell y'all that I can't tell y'all yet. What the F, man? He, what does this guy have against goats? Entirely, entirely pacifist run. The entire game decides that that's the goat you got to take out. Actually hasn't killed anything. That goat? F him, dude. F him, dude. Oh, Call of Duty. And then Call of Duty just replied to me? So it was it was it was a promotional message. Meh. Meh. All right, here we go. This is the most lichen intense area in the entire game. The game developers were like, "Yo, how many how many lichens should we put in this area?" And then the other game developer went, "How many lichens can we fit in a single area?" And then the game other game developer said, "I'm on it." And th that's what happened. And that's what happened, dude. Okay, I, re I definitely remember there being way more last time. Yeah, I remember there being way, way more. Dude, they're, they're so far behind, they're still attacking the other area where Ethan just was. I think he's just shooting it at the ground to stagger all of the guys behind him. It's working, dude. Rocket pistol OP. It's a good thing that thing doesn't do damage to you. All right, here we go. This is where I started my last, my ending part playthrough. Right here. Man, such a good game. We were, I, we, hey, we were really spoiled for single player stuff. Another save restart. Uh, we were really spoiled for single single player games that week. It was Subnautica Below Zero. This must be the right. Day. Right after doing Resident Evil Eight, man, man, I wish every week could be like that. I really, really wish every week could be like that. So good, dude. They hadn't even all started jumping around yet. I, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was literally going to never use the rocket pistol in this run. It's almost been okay, used more than the stake. Or the whatever it's called. I think it's the stake, right? Got apparently got all the names wrong at the beginning, so you know, it's what it is. But uh, I really I really thought it was barely going to be used and it's been by far and large the most used one. Really the only thing that he that he is using the big guns for is uh for bosses because it just does that much damage it does 2k damage i think everything else does like 200 like sniper rifles do like 300 or something maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong but 
I think it, I think it depends on how everything's upgraded. All right, he's got the big boy out. Okay, so here's where we figure out what happens if you kill the big guy at the very beginning during the initial village attack. That's not good. Does a new one come? Bro, like, what's even the point of existing if you're just gonna die in that many bullets? I wonder why he uses the AR for the last one. I wonder why he uses the AR, because there's really no point when, when the other gun does so much damage, but I'm sure there's some sort of weird... He did the same thing with the other one. That's the only time he's used the AR in this entire playthrough. He used the AR to kill the two big guys. Weird. Very strange. Very, very strange. Okay, so here's where he goes up. He's going to put in... He's going to get the Giant's Chalice. And then he uh, goes in and kills Heisenberg. Yeah, also, also, we were talking about this last time. Dude, it's so funny how, like, literally Heisenberg's the entire reason he's bad. He... Like, the entire time he was talking to Ethan, he was like, we're going to use Rose to kill Mother Miranda. And Ethan's like, how dare you? I would never use my child to kill Mother Miranda. And proceeds to literally use his child to kill Mother Miranda. Oh, there's the alpha werewolf. Did y'all notice that? He literally did exactly what my dude was saying. Like, exactly, to the point. Because the only reason Mother Miranda was, like, able to be killed is because she was holding Rose. It's literally did the literally did the exact thing alive. literally the exact exact same thing wild absolutely wild right, one more he can definitely have pried that thing off beforehand but you know it is what it is all right also he's gonna just pick this up and put it in his back pocket by the way what what okay he runs it over, gotta put the giant's chalice in, and then gotta go kill high ZB. Next split is called Don't Worry, Not a Trap. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, not a trap. What's going on? Dude, th th this game almost seems like, I don't know what the right word is, but like, it sounds weird to say, but like, calming. Just to speed run. I know, I know it's like literally the most horrible things ever going on on screen, but it straight up seems like calming to speed run just solely because of how like, like just you do something and then this happens and then you do this and then this happens. Like there's, there's, a, there's an, I'm not crazy, right? There's an element of that. That's just really, really like, Calming. Am I? Am I? Is, it, is that only me? That might only be me. I don't know. So more pause buffering. Okay, maybe this isn't the best example of calming, but it is kind of calming, you know. You shoot. You shoot Mother Miranda. She talks about how she, how much she wants to kill you and your child, or steal your child, and, and that it's her child now. It's kind of calming, you know. Don't worry about the kid, even. It'll be fine. Ha! Just get your ass across the bridge. It'll be fine. <laughs> I do a uh, Ethan Winters. Welcome. Welcome. I didn't think you'd make it past Donner Moreau, but I suppose you survived worse back in America, hmm? I love his voice like actor so much. <laughs> I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. I'd like to oh, press start and then skip no, the cutscene. It's not a trap. Don't worry, not a trap. You planning? <laughs> All right. And apparently, there's some like really interesting lore that shows up there for a second. 
Oh yeah, propeller head chases you. Shit. Propeller boy. A dead end. Damn it. Later. Yeah, I, the propeller boss fight is probably gonna die in one bullet. I, I would imagine. Maximum one bullet. Maximum one bullet for propeller. What was that thing? Because he has like his weak spot that he takes extra damage from. Yeah, one shot. Maybe some extra pipe bombs. That's it. He's done. He's literally done for. Also, my guy Ethan is buff. He just, he's running around all day. Oh God, that kind of scared me. Why did that kind of scare me? I, I, I didn't think I thought there were enemies yet in this area. See what I mean though? He only staggers them. He doesn't, you know, you don't got to kill him. Just got to stagger him a little bit. Also, I really appreciate this guy's intention to reloading his guns. Every time he shoots a bullet, I'm like, but when are you going to reload it though? You know, this like, eh, you could reload it later okay, or you could see. just, you know, reload it now. All right, let's see if there are any more crazy glitches. I'm surprised that more out of bounds glitches have not been found. The fact that you just skip so much stuff um, in, in the last area. You know what I mean? Like you, you literally straight up skip. Oh, <gasps> yes, there's more. I was just wondering about this. Let's go. Oh my God, this is, this is incredible. He's skipping so much ish right now. Ha! Wait, that is so sick. Well, dude, there's gotta be more of those. I, I, I am very certain that the world record is not, uh, did he do this too? The, 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 the world record is not, uh, anywhere, anywhere close to being finalized yet. That's the first time he took damage this entire time. That wasn't like purposeful. Pretty sure it wasn't purposeful. All right. Relief mold is crafting. He's going to run for the horse relief. Let's just shoot. Kieran Hawkins, thanks for coming to tier one member. Wow, wait, I'm not even streaming. What are you doing? What the heck? Seems useful. Dog, what? I'm not even streaming. I'm not even streaming. How did you just become a channel member? Okay, whatever. <laughs> aside from the point, aside from the point. I love that, I love that. Oh, good, 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 good. I, th this next split is one of my favorite splits I've ever seen in my entire life. I think, th I think this area was definitely where I got the most lost. I think I, I, didn't, I didn't really get turned around the entire game. I was in this area again really appreciate the shoot a bullet you reload it type type of situation Jesus. all right is he gonna glitch to the wall again got the pipe bomb out oh so so he blew up in the wall and and skipped the stagger animation by doing that at the same time as he did the thing so that he can open it up while, while also maintaining momentum. Dude, people are so smart. People are honestly so smart. Oh, that helps out a whole lot with the with all the dots and everything. Truly, truly disappointing. You know, you're truly, truly disappointing. How about that, Heisenberg? You were my least favorite boss fight, Heisenberg. I don't like mech boss fights. She locked us away in the village. And here we go, back through the wall again. She's running on the rooftops right now. That's so cool, man. He is pissed. He is pissed about that one. Holy, he is pissed. 
Did you see that? He like accidentally switched some weapons around, like didn't hit the thing in time. These are the fruits of my power. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. He's, dude, he's literally, this is how you know that this guy is a serious speedrunner. He's flipping between his splits right now so that he can, he can see how much time he truly lost by that. It was like two seconds, don't worry. I think he had something in the comment section about this too. Really happy this run. Unfortunately, lost the sub 123 due to a two, uh, two two second mistakes at Chris's section. Oh, so, th so he didn't even count that as one of his two second mistakes. She doesn't care he's not playing as Chris yet. No. She's long I mean, he could have had. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. This is 23:01 is the time he gets on this run. 23:01. Sounds like shit. he could have gone. Mm, not a very good player, honestly. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding obviously. <laughs> not a very good player, guys. You know, just not not very good. I hate to see that. Oh, the pre-snipe, dude. F the jetpack, guys, man. Me and my homies effing hate the jetpack, guys. Another one? Did he even hit that? Bro, that, that was some, that was some, that's some bold movement right there. I, that did not look like it hit on my screen. But hey, what do I know, right? I'm just the pleb. He's already done. He literally says, hey, hey, jet, hey, jetpack guys, enjoy being down here literally forever. We'll, we'll be seeing you in the next one. All right, big fan time. Huge. The Resident Evil games are actually pretty easy when you think about it. I, I, I am like convinced that it actually doesn't matter how, how good your accuracy is because eventually okay, so he, he like purposely waits till like the last second so, so that because it's a faster movement forward. interesting but I, I'm a firm believer that the games uh, not actually like with with drops and stuff it's not actually RNG the faster or the the lower ammo you actually are and the more you need ammo the better your drops are going to be i i truly believe that the game secretly in the background does that calculation and does that math for you and it says hey if the, he's running low on ammo because he sucks at aiming let's spawn some more ammo and stuff like that for him out of the enemies and everything like that i truly think that's how the game works could i be wrong absolutely but you know it is what it is all right, big button time. Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. Your rose. If that happens, it's all over. For your kid and for the whole village. But don't worry, I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. He did a little trick to, to open up before he had to wait for it. Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Take Rose? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Bro, he can literally metal bin. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. They, they explain it in the end of the game. They explain it in the game. He can't metal bend. What he can do is he, he, can, he can manipulate electricity. So he can mani manipulate electromagnetic fields around him, which makes him be able to metal bend. See, see, see how that works out? See how that works out? Dude, it's good to see Duke, man. Look at Duke, look at him. Look at Duke, dang it. You haven't looked at him the entire playthrough. You're being a, a exceptionally, exceptionally rude to Duke right now. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of bothering me. Yeah, I, th I think Heisenberg's was my least favorite dungeon. It's dark. Thank you, Ethan. Very insightful, as always, Ethan. Is 
Is he dead? Oh my god, he died off that. <laughs> Again, really appreciate the reloads. Oh my god, dude! This pistol is insane! I mean, I'm glad it didn't exist in the first run of the game, but for real. Like, goodness gracious. Eisenberg key. Crystal mechanical heart. Also, the amount of money he's just, like, leaving to lay around is a sin. It's a sin. Look at all that. That dude. That dude actually kind of tanked right there. Not gonna lie, that guy was, that guy was the strongest enemy they've had so far. Okay, so he's gonna use this to, to phase the room. Easy. I think that's not not even the last one. He, I think there's one more in a tunnel that I remember that he has to he has to do that with. I think there's one more, one more that he has to do this. Yes, sir, Duke. I agree. All right, boys. Less than nine minutes, or wait. 10, 11 minutes. Less than 11 minutes and the game will be beaten. I'm excited to see the ending fights. The Mother Miranda fight is going to be so funny with this. You really are a tough one. Running tired of chit chat. Time to die. Oh, yeah, propeller. You can hear it, can't you? Waiting for you. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. It was one stagger shot, two shots. Killed him. Not one. My bad, guys. My bad. Okay. And cutscene time. And skip the cutscene time. <laughs> And cutscene time. This is where he turns into the metal beast. The metal beast. Damn it again. And then he falls. Oh yeah, and then he falls all the way to the bottom after all that hard work. <laughs> I was truly discouraged. I think that was my low point in my playthrough when I thought I was gonna have to go back through all of that again. Skips the entire cutscene with Chris. Hops straight into the tank. Yeah, honestly, I'm not a fan. I, I did not like fighting with this thing. I'm coming, Rose. That accuracy, though. Wait, that's clean. Wait, that was actually super clean. Holy cow. <laughs> that was very satisfying. Very much an oddly satisfying video right there. Oh, frame rate trick. To allow him to shoot that out early. Back to 120 frames so you can get that crispy aim back in. Pause buffering this and got what he wanted. And save quit. So skip that. Skip the intro cutscene to Heisenberg. Dude, he is owning him. He is owning him. Punching asshole. 
Greatest reference in the game. Okay, and he's already dead. This phase is already done. It's literally like the, the the thing about this game is it's literally like it can't get much faster because there are certain things unless you can just figure out how to skip crazy stuff. You really should have taken my deal. Also, how is he lifting Ethan into the How is he lifting Ethan into the air? This can't be the end for me! I must kill her! Big kaboom. Oh, I just really wish you got to fight him in human form. I just really, really wish you got to fight him in human form. That would have been great. Oh yeah, here's where uh, big death. This is this is this is what we like to call the death the death part, where Ethan dies the for the first time, not not the second time, the first time. Again, remember, remember, it's a very confusing storyline here. Ethan dies twice in this game, once for real, we think, but we're not actually sure. I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. Yes. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. Wait, do you have to watch this? Oh. Been uh, a while since we fought together. Okay, so now you play as Chris. The last, but the, the interesting desert. part is, is that you don't get the OP guns. The they give you but the guns. Your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I So you don't get the super OP now. stuff, so you actually have to like play this part on nor like you have to play this part normally almost. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. <sighs> Made contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. There's more than we thought. Watch out. <laughs> he really hit him with the if you if I can't see them, they don't exist. Western route is clear, moving out. Roger. Ooh, yeah, okay. That's one of the time losses BSA for sure. It's far. crazy how much that really makes a difference right there. Don't get cocky. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably where Miranda is. A Large mutated bioweapon sighting. <laughs> Again, hey, Chris hasn't me. seen anything so far. I keep your mask so Roger. Tundra here, leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Umberize, I need some backup. Nice. To the Bro, the actual speedrun right now. I reached the target location. The actual speedrun. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. That's insane. That was a nutty segment right there. That was really fun. That was really fun to watch. Reloading now. Just a minute. So he has the infinite ammo. Is a swarm headed that way? He has the infinite ammo, but he doesn't have infinite grenades or anything. So that kills the entire wave. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. It's oh, he went for the flashbang. I'm reloaded. Where should I point next? So he's just stunning them so he can pull off this missile launch. Bro, that's so smart. Found a good. 
Megamycete must be below. Dude, dude, this part makes Chris look like literally the coolest person ever. All right, now he's gonna fight the big one. Guarding the Megamycete, huh? I got a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Okay, I'm moving out. Hold on till it gets there. I dog. By the time you get there, this guy's gonna be dead ten times over. Hostile bio weapon eliminated. <laughs> like I said, I'll keep going. The rest of you stay above so ground. So Miranda was the fake Mia. Where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe. We can figure that out later. Focus on the. I, I actually would like to know now. I found it. It's the Mega My Seed. Hey, throw throw yourself a little knife explosive in there. Alpha to squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. Throw your throw your knifey boy About in there. Time. You bold Captain, you boulder punching bot boy. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. And we didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Yeah. This must be Miranda's life. My bad. My bad for getting him killed. All right. Big Mia is now free to roam planet Earth once again. And here we go. Miranda boss fight. Let's get it. Wait, this fight is gonna take literally 30 seconds. Look at look at the splits. It's cold. Look at the splits. 30 seconds boss fight. How did I get here? So based off the last speedrunner I saw, basically there's no anything you need to actually do. You just need to wait until um wait until uh Evelyn talks to you. There's nothing to really do. Go, big Duke. Got your back. I gotta go. All right, he's got the big boy weapons back. He's got the big boy weapons. Dude, this is this is literally it. The game will be over in one minute from now. The game will be completely over. It doesn't way. even look like he's gonna walk there in an entire minute. Okay, now he can sprint. All right, here we go. Let's see it, Mother Miranda. All right, hi Miranda. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamycetes. Now, please do not worry. <laughs> this is how you end. So now you can die peacefully. To ensure I never see you. Not when you break. favorite part of this entire speed run has got to be the, the seeing all of mother miranda's oh transportation God. like tra transformations oh in like three God. seconds Just boom 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 i think that has got to be my favorite part 
just seeing all all of her transformations within like two seconds. I love how he just skips all the cutscenes, all the most important ones, even after beating the world record. One twenty seven oh three. So I guess I guess the uh, the it, it goes by actual uh, not in game time, but rather this game time, because I mean that's I mean that's literally it. Because I mean, literally the. I mean that that was it. I think I think maybe do using the frame rates like messes with the time or something. But bro, what a run! What a run! So, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys did enjoy this, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you guys go check out Smoky Runs down below. I'll have all of his stuff linked up so you guys can go tell him how much of a beast he is getting this world record after the game has been out for like a month now. And uh, I'm sure I'm sure more of those glitches are gonna be a thing. I'm sure more of those glitches are going to be uh, found out and implemented into runs. And I think we're not done yet. I think we're not done yet. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you all in the next one. Adios, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. And bye-bye.